What is straight back syndrome? When somebody receives a diagnosis of straight back syndrome, they're really confused about what that means. Well, the spine is supposed to have normal curvatures, and these curvatures from the side or the sagittal alignment allow the spine to make allow the spine to be stronger. It allows the spine to be more flexible, to move better, and it also allows it to distribute forces throughout the spine from mechanical stress and compression that's occurred during movement and normal daily life. When somebody loses these normal curves and the spine becomes excessively straight, it can start affecting these abilities that the spine normally has with its normal curvatures. The normal curvatures that, that exist are something called a lordosis and a, or a kyphosis. The lordosis is a forward bend of the spine that's normally in the cervical spine or lumbar spine, and the thoracic spine normally has a kyphosis that bends backwards um, in, a, in a standard C shape away from the spine. Loss of one or more of these curves can affect the normal spinal bi biomechanics and can affect the way the curves relate to each other. Remember, these curves are necessary for the spine to absorb forces and allow the spine to properly protect the spinal nerves and also maintain normal gravitational function as a result of pressure downwards so the body can absorb the forces and distribute those forces properly. Each type of curve is characterized by its name no more by its main curve type. We, as I said, the cervical spine normally has a lumbar a lordosis. The lumbar spine also has a lordosis, where the thoracic spine has a kyphosis. If there's a there, and there's also a natural and normal range for each one of these kyphoses or lordoses in the area. We know the cervical spine has a normal range between 20 and 40 degrees. In the thoracic spine we normally say between 20 and 40 degrees. In the lumbar spine, we we're normally saying around 40 degrees, but up to 60 is considered normal in some patients. So problems occur when these curvatures go beyond these normal ranges. In straight back syndrome, or also known as st straight spine syndrome or flat back syndrome, is when a patient loses the normal kyphosis and lordosis, or both, and the spine becomes unnaturally straight. Normally, it's in the thoracic spine where a patient will lose the dimension between their, their sternum and their thoracic spine, and they actually look really thin from the side. And as a result, they have a very pitched forward position, not a rounding of the spine, but like a pitched forward position and rounding of their shoulders tend to round forward because they really have no thoracic curvature and the spine becomes very flat and straight. And this loss of normal alignment allows these muscles of the spine to become overwork. And as they become overworked, they become very sore, especially in the lower back or mid back, and they can become fatigued because of the raw result of the body not having the proper curvatures. The posture is not is not efficient. It's not an efficient posture, it's not efficient gait, so therefore they're always overworking, and as a result of it, they can feel fatigue and they can feel sore. They also have this sensation of kind of falling forward. A lot of times they may have to use a cane to prevent themselves from going, kind of falling forward because they have this pronounced kind of forward and they kind of stand, they kind of are stooped, but they're kind of stooped at their waist, not stooped at their chest. The result of the straight spine can be very complicated in terms of as the person begins to age and cause more and more issues. Here at Scoliosis Reduction Center, what we recommend is that if this is something that you've been diagnosed with or something that you feel that you have, is that you address the underlying cause. And the way you help adjust your underlying cause is using very condition-specific chiropractic care, a different variety of therapies and rehabilitations to help realign the spine and restore as much as possible of the spine's normal natural curvatures. So therefore, the body can absorb forces, we can restore normal alignment, help improve posture, help improve efficiency, and hopefully help improve any of the symptoms that are associated with the straight spine. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you'd like to hear about other topics and information on scoliosis, type in the comments below and let us know. And finally, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when we publish content. Thanks.